Yeah! Oh, hey gamers! Wow, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Well, I'm back, and this is Chris Tube. Yes, we've rebranded and made all kinds of changes to bring back the show. It's a lot of the old in with some new, so hope you enjoy. All right, so I'm your host, Chris Neo, and to get this party started, we're gonna start with a console that I kind of neglected last time, the Sega CD. Yep, never reviewed one game for that system, but that's all gonna change with this episode because now we're gonna look at the game Sewer Shark. And if you bought a, su um, a Sega CD back in the day, you could not escape this game because it came packaged with it. Now, it never came in a CD case like this because, yeah, it came with it. So let's go ahead and put the CD in the console here. We'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we go. Sega CD, there's the super cool startup screen. I can't miss that when uh, playing the game. Well, that takes me back. A Hasbro production? I didn't realize they had their hands in this. Boy, it's been so long, I didn't realize that. Ah, there we go, Sewer Shark. That's the iconic opener. Now, the cool thing about the Sega CD is when this came out, this was pretty much groundbreaking. We had never seen live action in a video game before. So this was a big deal, and of course, they probably picked this game to come packaged with the Sega CD because it showed off a lot of the features of the gaming system. Uh, of course, you know, being the first time out that they have uh, video in a video game, it was kind of squashed down the aspect ratio a little bit. So, of course, it's not full screen. Welcome to the sewers, punk. The guy you're replacing, he had that same tough guy smirk on his face that you do. So yeah, this, the beginning of this game pretty much sets up that there is a community that lives in the sewers. And you pretty much have to make your way out of the sewers by being the best sewer shark uh, pilot in the world. And you can go to this paradise island. So that's basically the gist of this game. Don't you love the smell of the sewers in the morning? They smell like victory! I'm just gonna love the intro. It's It just has all that 1980s campiness to it. Just love it. I took her apart and I put her back together again. No matter what they taught you up a top rat. Huh, doesn't it kind of remind you of the grandson from Mama's Family? I got some stuff in here. <laughs> Your call sign. Dog meat! <laughs> I've been called worse. Guess I got off kind of easy. Maybe you're good enough, dog meat. Let's find out. Oh, don't worry about me, buddy. I'll make sure you throw up back there with my driving. Hey, Captain, transmit. Of course, I just love this guy, Catfish. Real good now, Mr. Ghost. Oh my gosh, what is that ugly thing sitting in the pilot seat? Catfish. Since the storyline appeals to adults, I'm sure they threw this guy into appeal to the kids. Which, hey, it worked, because I was a kid when I played this game, so there you go. Oh, well, heck, they're dead. A complete cranial evacuation. It's a no-brainer, Mr. Ghost. Hey, Catfish, come on. Let's go kick a little Radigator butt, okay? Ha! <laughs> Radigators. The Radigators are kind of like the Womp Rats of this universe. Catfish needs a trip to Solar City worse than we do. Well, dark and scary down there, Mr. Ghost, and it smells terrible. We are go for lunch. Okay, ignition on three. Ready? Three! All right, so here we go! Sewer Shark! Yep, four minutes into this review and still haven't gotten to any of the gameplay yet. I love it. Relax. Pretend it's a game. And as you can probably tell already, this game is pretty much on par with things like Captain EO and Star Wars. All right, so here we are in the sewers. The game is starting and you'll be going through a whole network of these sewers. And of course, you're gonna have to watch those arrows up top because they will tell you where to go. Now, if you end up missing your turn, your co-pilot will yell at you and it will count against you. Miss too many of them and, well, you'll become sewer paste 
splattered on a wall. Uh, yeah, kind of like that. But back to the game. Uh, catfish to ghost, we got a target acquisition down here. Now, Catfish here is supposed to be a very helpful assistant because, of course, he's further along in the trail than you, and he's going to yell at you which tubes to go down. The critter's at 3, 6, 12. And you have to follow those to the T. There's also little arrows at the top of the screen that you have to follow that'll help guide you as well. But if you're able to follow the arrows and go down the correct tubes appropriately, then you'll be able to keep advancing through the game. And of course, while going through this game, you'll have to be uh, hitting those rats and bats and dodging all kinds of, of uh, crap-eating fodder that's coming at ya. Boy, you just gotta love the backgrounds of this game. They just keep rolling over and over and over again like an old Hanna-Barbera cartoon. Hey, wait a minute! There's Huckleberry Hound! How do you get into this game? And of course, while playing this game, don't get caught up just shooting everything in sight. Make sure you're making all your turns. Ugh, like that one right there. And I missed that one too. Great. Alright, well, if you miss a couple of these at the beginning of the game, it really won't count against you all that much. But later in the game, it's a different story altogether. Alright, so wait a minute, let's pause here for a second. Now this door, this door right here, will make or break your game. If you went down enough of the correct shafts, you'll be able to pass this point in the game. If you didn't, then you'll become sewer paste on a wall. So let's see what happens. Ah, fuck nuts. In this game, there are no continues, no extra lives, you die, that's it. No extra cheese on your Whopper, no sprinkles on your ice cream, and definitely no soup for you. You have to start back at the beginning of the game. So then you have to go through the game all over again to get back to the point where you're at. If you go down all the tubes that you're supposed to, then you will be able to get past this door and advance further into the game. And of course, the more you advance, the more cutscenes that you'll be able to see. Like this one right here. Mission essentially here, kid. That was fabulous. You're the greatest. <laughs> of course, you just gotta love the boss. He's eating, getting himself fat. <laughs> love it. I like that. It's got a certain ring, you know. All right, so yeah, the cutscenes are as quick as that. So, it's back to the game. Now, the further you get in the game, the difficulty, of course, increases. And one of the things that they take away, which pisses me off, are some of the arrow visual cues at the top of the screen. They don't even tell you where to go. You have to pay attention to minute details like this. This is hot stuff, buddy. I'm going to give you jump data. 12, 3, 12. In order to advance through the game. So yeah, you're going to need a pen and paper to play this game. What the hell's a pencil? Turn and burn, babe. That'll go out. Now at the beginning of the game, they give you multiple chances to correct your mistakes. But of course, later in the game, make one wrong move, and BAM! Yep, and this is pretty much as far as I was able to get in the game, which really sucked. <sighs> but if you're able to advance further in the game, you'll find out that they're actually killer robots that will kill anybody that comes close to the surface, and your boss is living pretty high on the hog, enjoying the topside paradise all to himself. And as you fight your way to the surface, the storyline gets that much more complicated. Not only do we find out that the boss is actually keeping people sequestered in the sewer, up against the wall! But he also turns on the other people living topside with him. So, yeah, he's becoming quite that asshole. Back! Get back! Or my shirt shall have your brains for birth! What a dick. Next stop, Solar City. And of course, if he can survive throughout the entire game, which is damn near impossible, you will see the final cutscene where everybody is living out their days in paradise and the boss gets deep sixed. Literally. Alright, guys, well, there you go. Sewer Shark for the Sega CD. Super hard, but at the same time, super nostalgic as well. Now, there's one last feature I want to show about this game, but it'll have to wait till next time because it gets a little long in the tooth. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. 
And until next time, game on. <laughs>